Hello, this is Jeremy with Remy Refinishing, coming at you with the ninth episode where I'm actually gonna show you what the heck I do instead of just talking. So, sanding sponge, 220. You wanna go over any, um, any area that you've previously done just to get any bumps off or anything of that nature. Um, I just quickly painted the top uh, so I could show you from the ground what I do, but normally you want to paint a whole door at the same time just so all the paint kind of goes together. This might create some bumps here in the middle if I stop too long, so I'm going to get going right away. And basically I take, I take my brush and I wipe it off on both sides, that way there's not a whole lot of paint on it. And then I just very lightly do these little quarters in here. So again, you're not worried about getting too much paint on at any given time. And you just want to get that light coat. Um, with the primer on, the, pr the white is definitely showing through when you do this. And do a little bit more on there. But yeah, don't worry if you don't, if you're still seeing that white shining through, because you're going to get it on that second coat. This is only a first coat of paint. So I did the edges, I did the insides, and now the same thing with the roller. Um, I'm going to, can't really show you, but um, I kind of put the roller in the paint and then I use the bumps in the tray to get rid of a lot of that paint. And then again, it's just really light coat. You want to try and do it in the least amount of, of passes as possible. So I kind of did a bad job there, but this should be, you know, one pass back and forth. I'm just going to go over that one more time. And then up, down, done, don't touch it. <laughs> um, and that's a key is you don't, you don't want to mess around with the paint too long. You want, you want to let it do what it's going to do. And the big thing is, again, get a thin coat of paint on. That way you're not having runs and drips and that sort of thing. And you want to lean toward putting less paint on so you can come back, double coat it, triple coat it if you have to. Um, but again, if you put too much paint on there, you're going to definitely get those runs and drips. So thanks again. We're on episode 10.